In a house wiring, especially when we talk about the switch and the light system, we normally have issues whereby you find that either the bulb is not working or probably the entire circuit has an issue. Could it be the switch? Could it be the bulb holder or the ceiling rose? Is it the bulb itself that has an issue or the lighting point? When we get to the consumer unit where we tap the source from through an MCB that powers the lighting circuit, is it the one that has an issue? Is the connection at the consumer unit the problem or is the MCB, the specific MCB that is supplying current to that circuit, the one with an issue? We need to troubleshoot that. And before we get started, what tools do we need to have with us as well as what instrument is important for us to be able to troubleshoot it with ease? Top boss, stay tuned for our today's video where we are talking about the electrical faults and how to identify them, especially in a house wiring, where we troubleshoot an issue that has happened in the lighting circuit of a house. This video forms part of our series on electrician training videos that will be of help to you as an electrical technician who is beginning or who is a student and you'll be able to learn a lot even though you are practicing there is much to learn my top boss stay tuned for this and more my top boss so your customer has called you and this is what you find in the field whereby these other bugs are on but this one in the middle is not lighting why we want to figure out what could be the issue now this one is purely troubleshooting because when you switch this one on and off it is working properly and then we have these two lights here it probably could be in the kitchen in the sitting room or in the dining room and then when you switch them off and on they are switching but there is this one let's say it's in the sitting room it is not working and this customer tells you that actually this bulb is switched by two switches one here at these two gun switch and this other one meaning it is a two-way switch then you wonder what could be the problem of course the first thing that you will ask have you tried to change the bulb they say yes we have changed the bulb and it is still not working so what do you do first my top boss now myself i will try to do it myself changing that bulb with the one that is turning on and see whether it is actually the bulb or what could be the issue. Now, I'll simply start by removing this one and I can see everything is okay in my bulb order. And since this one is working properly, I will definitely take that one and use it here. It is not. It is still not. The other ones are still working this one is working if i take this bulb here what happens it is working now my conclusion is that the wiring that is done on this particular bulb is not working now for this case what i will do is to switch off the circuit breaker at the consumer unit and this circuit breaker is the one that activates the lights in that house how do i know one circuit breaker is connected to the entire lighting system or they could be two i will test that so what i will do to know that is to switch on any lighting point and then go to the circuit breaker and start tripping mcbs the one that will switch off this bulb i will definitely know that it is the one that is activating the lighting in that house now, once I have confirmed that everything is off, I can go ahead and start my troubleshooting. The first one, we have identified that the bulb is okay, so I get rid of it. I check inside the bulb holder and uh, I can notice that everything is going on well. And then I will get rid of these uh, screws here on the bulb holder so that I can access and see whether all the cables are connected to the bulb holder well so here we have it we can see that this face and this neutral is intact and therefore we confirm that at the bulb holder level 
there might be no issue because the neutral is intact in the position as well as the face. The next suspect is definitely on the switches. These two switches, either the one gang and the two gang that is activating this light or this other one gang which forms a two-way that is activating the light. If at all there is an issue with either of those switches or there is a connection problem, it means that it will affect the bulb and it will not switch on. All right. So where do we start? We can either start with checking this one or we can start with checking this one. Which one is easier? Definitely the one gang switch. Confirm whether it is switching. But our switch, we simply unscrew the screws here. So we definitely have the strappers, the two strappers interconnecting the two switches at L1 and at L2. Uh -huh. And then we have the L common. We can see from this point here that everything looks great. But I want to introduce to you something that is referred to as a continuity test to test the integrity of this switch, whether it is switching on at L1 and also at L2, so that we can know that this switch is okay. So what you are going to use is a digital multimeter. This is where now an electrician is supposed to carry the right instruments. So we adjust it all the way to continuity there. So continuity will help us to understand where the issue could be. And so for continuity, if you bring these probes or you connect these probes together, you let them touch, there will be that beeping sound and zeros, meaning there is no resistance or that is a closed circuit like that. So when the switch is on at this position, we expect LCOM and L1 to be continuing or to close and when it is on this position we expect lcom and l2 to close meaning that it will now connect the circuit that this is because this is a two way switch now at this position it is we now take our probe at this point here yeah and then at l1 There, it means that the switch is working. Now, when you switch it off like that, and in that position, L common and L1 will not continue because that one is an open circuit, as you can see. Still on that position, you also expect L common and L2 to close. So there will be that beeping sound, meaning that that is a short circuit or a closed circuit now when we connect like so it has closed so that implies that the switch is actually okay so we can screw it back to its position so my top boss let us check whether in this two gun switch there is an issue that is number one number two you can see the connection that is from the common which is this one this is the supply is coming direct into these two gang switches and it's sharing properly and uh, we can see that uh, this one is activating the other single light and this is the one gang that is acting together with the other one gang to activate the light as you can see the stroppers have been connected here so we want to know what could be the issue because from my observation, the cables have been well screwed in here. The strappers at L1 and at L2. And then we have this being fed to this particular gang switch here. So again, we will use our digital multimeter to test the integrity of this switch here. So with my multimeter still positioned at the continuity test. So as we said, uh, when it is on that position, we expect the L common and L1 to go on. And when it is on this position, we expect the L common 
and the L2 to be continuing or closed so that it can activate that light. So let us test. So the L common, we place our probe there. And uh, the L1, place it there. That is one. Still, it is supposed to be continuing. So let me try again. It is not. It is a one. So we try to switch off or to switch the switch on the other position and test for L common and L2 to see whether it is continuing. So now we switch on this position. We expect L common and L2 to be continuing. If it doesn't, then we know the switch is spoiled and we have to replace it. So we place it, we place our probes at L common as I have done there. And then at L2, we expect it to be continuing, giving us a beep and a zero. If not, it means it is spoiled and it will give us one. So that is a one. So this switch is spoiled. Internally, there is a problem. So we have to definitely change it. Top boss, we have already confirmed using this digital multimeter, a very important instrument that indeed everything is okay all the way from this switch to this bulb holder. But there is a problem here. Why? Because this switch is actually not switching on. The one gun on this two gun switch, which is activating this light together with this one, forming a two way, is not working. So, what we need to do is to simply replace the entire switch and see whether that problem will be resolved. All right, let's do it. When replacing this switch, the most important thing for you to do is to ensure that you take note of the stroppers because it can be confusing. So you can see our stroppers here are marked or connected with this blue tape. Of course, this one is the feed, the face, which is feeding the L common of this one gang. And it is also tapped to the other one gang to the L common. And this one gang here is activating the other light, the single light here, which is perfectly lighted. But we'll have to get rid of everything. All right. So just do that in a simple way. We see that the multimeter has really saved us and it has shortened our work. So this is this is the problem. We get rid of it and we get another one. So now my top boss, we have this and we definitely need to use it. This is a two gun switch now. And uh, you can see this is the L common, the L common, and the L1, the L2, the L1, the L2. Both of these can operate a two way switch system. But since we only need one gun, we will simply use that. We will dedicate this one, which is on the inner part, for that light. And so we will wire our two way or our strappers at L1 and L2. And then we have our face, which is coming from this part here. This is the feed. We will then connect it here and also loop to the other switch. We will use this piece of wire to loop the two, like so. So we connect it at this point. And we screw like so. So it is connected at the L common here, connected at the L common, and it's looping to the other L common so that you supply the face to both the two gang and you screw it. Having done that, what will remain is the other half from this light that is above here. We'll screw it at L1 so that the bulb goes on at the usual position 
the down position, not the up position. Right. So having done that, we now return the cables safely inside. Remember, it's good to leave a lot of cables like so, so that in future, in case the replacement is done, and probably someone had to cut the cables or the wires, then it means that that reduction in the length of the wire will not affect it so much. Now, my top boss, having found the source of the problem, we now get to the moment of truth. With this bulb turn on after replacing the two gun switch, first of all, is our circuit back or is it active? Yes. The moment of truth. Yes, working. How about at this point? It is working. Perfect, perfect, working properly. But were it not for our digital multimeter, it would be very difficult for us to really know where the real problem was. Sometimes using eyes or just a tester can be deceiving. But our digital multimeter has done the magic. Always ensure that when going to troubleshoot these electrical problems, you always have the right tools, the right materials, the right instrument so that you may be able to easily find the problem and come up with the solution. This is a simple basic troubleshooting of a house wiring, especially on the lighting system when there is a fault. Now my top boss, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to our channel for this and more videos. My name is John and this is Top Heights Electricals and Electricians. Goodbye for now.